Hi, it's March 21st, and uh, we're speaking to you from our uh, office in Sacramento. And this is the time of the year where we start introducing bills. Um, we'll have bills going to policy committees in the next month. And one that's really important to me, and I think is important for the state and uh, the country, is SB 809. So some years ago, uh, uh, constituent Bob Pack from um, Danville came and uh, he's a man who some of you may have heard about. Unfortunately, two of his children uh, died some years ago when someone who was on uh, Oxycontin um, and Vicodin and uh, was drinking as well, abusing prescription drugs, lost control of her car, and, and unfortunately killed two of Mr. Pack's uh, kids. It's a tragic thing. It happened in the middle of the afternoon on a Sunday um, right by Blackhawk. So he came to me and um, uh, asked me to help with establishing and getting the funding for what's called the Cures Program. It's in its, in when it's fully developed, what it'll be is a system with all the prescribers of prescription drugs in California on the system. So in real time, both the Department of Justice and the Attorney Generals can see if anybody's abusing prescription drugs, either as a prescriber or as somebody who's doing what's called doctor shopping, who's going around to multiple doctors and asking for painkillers. It's a real uh, tragedy in his case, but it's an epidemic in the United States. The Center for Disease Control has defined it as an epidemic. Uh, prescription drug abuse causes more addictions and deaths in the United States of America than illicit drugs, heroin and cocaine combined. So it's multiple stories in our county, in, uh, in Alameda County, and around the state and the country. It is a national epidemic. Uh, this particular bill would fully fund this online system so that people will be available, doctors, as I said, will know in real time if people are, are overusing. Uh, it's not the ultimate re remedy, but our bill would fund it with a variety of mechanisms and raise about $8 million that will um, make the system fully operational and also allow for continued operation of the funds of the system and then also have investigatory teams out of the Department of Justice so we can go after people who are, who are uh, illegally selling prescription drugs. It's a um, much needed bill. It's a real challenge to implement it. But it's one of the reasons um, I really think it's an honor for me to serve in the California State Senate, to meet people like Bob Pack who have taken tragedy out of their lives, who live in our area and have gone to put so much energy into correcting what happened to him to make sure other people don't go through it. Likewise, uh, another constituent, April Rivera, has done the same thing because she lost a son to prescription drug abuse. So there are lots of stories like that. It's something that needs to be remedied, and um, it's one of the bills we'll be working hard to get passed and signed into law this year. So if you want more information, as always, go to our website. You can get uh, the bill as it's, as it's currently written. Um, you can get an analysis of that from our website. And of course, as always, you could always call us um, or email us if you wanted any information about this bill or any other bill that we're introducing this session. So I hope you're great. Um, as we come out to, up to Easter weekend in the springtime, I'm um, hopefully looking forward to a wonderful spring and um, stay in touch.